So how long have you been been in the UK now? Uh, five months. So so you went from you come from Pakistan. Yeah. And then you went to Dubai. Yeah. And how long are you in Dubai for? For three years for projects. What you was in? I didn't I didn't think you was there for three years. For three years, like I was like it was in and out. Right. I was going back to my country, but I was there for a business business visa. Yeah. So yeah, I was there for a project. They done a residential project, a commercial project also. What well, interior yeah. design residential project? Yeah. And what was that? What did you do? Uh, it was an apartment in Palm Jumeirah. Yeah. I designed it for a lady, and yeah. um, they were quite happy with my job, and they keep on calling me again, but then I can't go back right now. And well, busy um, with stuff. Do you remember what block it was in? Because I. I when I first went to Dubai, uh-huh. I stayed in. Pa- I, had a, I, I was renting a place in Palm Jumeirah as well. Okay. I can't think it was. I can't think of, there's so I many. Know, it was there. yeah. I don't know. It was seven something. I can't remember, but yeah. it was on the main road. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll have to check and can tell you then. Because they're not. They're, they're, they're not big apartments. They're like maybe a thousand five hundred square feet. Was it a two bed? Yeah, and it was like a double story. Duplex. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and we had a small lift there. Yeah. And what, a service lift. Service lift. Not right. what to take the, the goods upstairs. Not what in the flat. In the flat. Not in a in the flat. In the flat. Amazing. Trust me. Yeah, they were um, new apartments, and obviously yeah. everything was new, and um, the site was very beautiful. If you go on the back side of the apartment, yeah. you can see whole, you know, site. So was it was it shoreline or was it the other side? Was um, it where the, all the all the track of the uh, the the monorail is, or was it on the beach side? Uh, it was not on the beach side. It, it was, was on the beach on the side. side. Yeah. 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 So, and how long did that project last? Uh, for about three months. Yeah. So I had a good team with me. Yeah. Yeah, all welders. Everybody was so cooperative and. We tried to because we, we, we had a short time. Yeah. So, what, um, so your design brief, what was it? You know, when you first, did you meet, ever meet the client? Yeah, of course. And where, yeah. where was the client? What, what was the international client? She was actually uh, from Pakistan. Yeah. And uh, uh, of course, when we go and see the client, we give them a visit and we talk to them to see what they're looking for. Yeah. I mean, we have to know their likes and dislikes. After that, we can suggest them according to their taste, that was what they're looking yeah. for, and then we can give them our input as well. So that's important. First thing is you need to do site visit first yeah. of all, and then after taking all the you know pictures and mm-hmm. measurements, then we come back to our office and work on AutoCAD and software. Mm-hmm. Sometimes clients ask for three Ds, two Ds, mm-hmm. and sometimes you know when they have short period of time, mm. then they don't ask you for 3Ds, you can just... Uh, and what, on that one in Dubai, what was their budget on that one? What was their... Uh, how many day rooms was it? I can't remember that, but actually it was... Um, in the beginning, we started off yeah. with the bedroom, and then um, with the drawing room, I remember uh, they had a lounge and kitchen area. Mm. We need to... Um, we did some, you know, uh, refurbishments in kitchen and washrooms, and um, yeah, I can't remember exactly, but um, no, I can't tell you like that. So after yeah. that one in Dubai, I said, yeah. was there quite a few more in Dubai? Is that all? You, so in Dubai, is that that's all we did was interior design? No, uh, I did a small. You can say it was a car showroom, yeah. and I did office for them, like what, their, commercial, commercial, commercial job. Com- a commercial job, yeah. yeah. It was in Dera, so I yeah. designed their main office for them, yeah. and the back office as well. Yeah. So, so you spent time in Dubai, yeah. Then you came to London to, yeah. to set, try and make your fortune as an interior yeah. designer. Yeah, I'm into this field from past twelve years now, and most of my life I've spent in Pakistan. Yeah. So we've got very good clients in Islamabad, that's the yeah. capital of Pakistan. So they spend money. So you, 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 you've, you've actually worked with quite high net worth Pakistani course, families. Interior is like um, in Pakistan, of course, nobody 
you can say only elite class can afford interiors, yeah. not a normal person. Because if you talk about you need a proper, um, what do you call it, branded things, or yeah. if you want to make customized furniture, and you cannot compromise on finishing yeah. details, then your budget should be, you know, on higher end. Exactly. So it's out of reach for the average person. For the average person. So it's, it, it's for the, it's yeah. for the, uh, not even, I guess there's no um, middle class, is there, in Pakistan? You're either rich or you're poor. No, there are middle, is there class. middle class. Yeah, there is middle class, but they, um, they do it by themselves. They don't bother exactly. hiring an interior designer. And um, like, still, I I believe there are, people need to get more awareness in this thing. Like interior, for example, if you're a doctor, so other person, if you if you take a tablet, if you know a medicine, a simple medicine for your you know paracetamol or something like that. So uh, everybody knows it, but you can't claim that you're a doctor. Yeah. So same like interior designing or any other field, unless you are not into that field, you're not, you you don't have command on that field. You can't be yeah. a perfect designer. So how long so. were you studying to become an interior designer? And did you study? Do, did you, were you doing this in Pakistan or did you do it? Uh, my whole background was uh, I'm an artist like by birth. You can yeah. say, yeah. I can say I'm into this area from 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. I started it with fine arts. Uh, started with sketching, yeah. and I used to do paintings a lot. And so your illustrations. Illustrations. So yes, if any, I did. Anyone's out here, and they they want yeah. someone to do uh, some illustrations or maybe paintings on the. Yeah, on their I did my bachelor's in murals. fine arts. Yeah. So they teach you about the colors. They're um, because. As you know, every color has a meaning. So um, you need to know uh, moods according to the colors, you know. And um, painting, miniature, sculpture, textile designing, interior designing, whatever comes into fine arts. Yeah. So, so that's your passion. Yeah, that's that, 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 passion. that kind of thing. Yeah, that's my passion. Yeah. Sometimes I dream about it, like, you know, um, designs. They usually so, come in so what, what, why did you want to come to the UK? Tell everyone why you came to the UK. What's so special about the UK? Is it, the, is it, is it London? Is it the people? Is it the land of opportunity? Is it where dreams are made? For growth. For growth. To get for your brand growth. known. For growth. Yeah. And I think I, I have done enough in Pakistan and now I needed more awareness, more exposure, mm. more growth. Yeah. I can't stick to one place and uh, you know, my teacher used to say, you know, you have to think out of the box. So yeah. I wanted to see the world. I still go around, like I go to Paris, I go to Dubai, I go to Pakistan. So um, obviously London, uh, I've been here before in 2012. I did my master's here mm -hmm. in interior architecture. So I had a knowledge about this country that, you know, these people have got good taste, like you know, yeah, and um, it's, it's it's completely different. It's a different yeah, and they different understand. World, you different don't, requirements. They understand, and you don't have to teach here. People like they're already aware of these things. Like you know, as I said before, um, everybody should be perfectionist in the field. Everyone, everyone around here, and, and most yeah. people in our society, especially where we are in Fulham and Chelsea and Bell, you know, these are middle to middle class, middle class to you know yeah. the London elite. Yeah. Who, they have got different requirements. They did their their needs are completely different to someone else around the country. Yeah. You know, in uh, anywhere north, south, east, and west. This is just a like a micro uh, climate of wealth. Yeah, I think it's a hub. London is a hub. Yeah. Everybody from all over the world they come to London and they spend money, and of course with a lot of exposure they know that. Even you know, if you if you talk a simple person and if you talk to him and ask about, do you are you familiar with this um, mother of pearls? They know it. Yeah. But they know they know yeah. about the brands. They know about different kinds of yeah. uh, stone. Yeah. Uh, different uh, kitchens. Yeah, this, they this. have knowledge. They have knowledge and they understand. 
then you have to go to a professional yeah. person to do your interiors. If you want to go for your architecture, you need to go to an architect. Yeah. You can't do it yourself because there's a lot of effort and details in the designing process. When you go through it, then you'll understand. You know, first time client doesn't understand what you're talking about, but when he see all the effort, sketches, drawings that we go through and we give them like stage by stage, um, we manage they like the that. whole... Yeah, they th like then that. they understand that there is an effort b behind it. You can't I've just... Got, I've got a friend of mine, he's yeah. an interior designer, him and his okay. wife, yeah. and he's an illustrator mm -hmm. and he hand draws yeah. every single thing. He's got very wealthy Russian clients, yeah. uh, Middle Eastern clients. Yeah. He's got jobs in Miami, uh, New York, London, Paris, and he does all of his drawings by hand. And then he will make, turn the drawings into CGIs, yeah. and then he will present them to the client. That's the basic thing. You need to draw. He will. He yeah. will record himself mm -hmm. sketching mm -hmm. the joinery. Mm -hmm. And he will send it to his client so his client can see his hairy fingers drawing it to <laughs> proof because they want to know that he's actually been involved in that. No, I when I sit with that's my where, clients, that's, where, that, yeah. that's your niche. That's what you can do. Mm. Uh, when I sit with my clients, I do the same thing. Yeah. For example, if they're looking for a piece of sofa, so and uh, you know they want something with four seater sofa, and you can't, you have to. You know, I can draw that and tell them the size of something exactly. and how much space it will take and what material it would be. Yeah, these it's are a all skill because skill. You, what you are, you're a prop, you are, you're an artist. Yeah. So you can put your whatever's in your mind and yeah. I'm describing to you. You yeah. can put it down on paper, on paper. there and then in front yeah. of the client and exactly. they can go love it. Exactly. Exactly. So you know that I love sketching and I love playing with paints and colors. It's it's passion for me. Yeah. I can't get rid of it. Yeah. I mean, my whole, my career, my passion, my dreams are to become a famous <laughs> interior designer one day. Exactly. And, and make happen. my name in London as well. It will happen. Mm. So, when you came to see me, you never uh, went to the um, Chelsea Design Studio. So, when you, no, when no. I sent you down there, yeah, well, you told me tell me what that was like when you went down there. Amazing. Like, I never knew it was, a, it's a complete hub. You can find a lot of designers there. You can find... A lot of products there which is related to interiors you know lighting curtains sofas upholsteries everything is there at one place and uh it's all it's mega high end but it's very expensive yeah Stu silly yeah. silly silly money yeah but obviously there's going to be a very few people in prime areas yeah. who will pay that kind yeah. of money you know 20 30 grand for a console table not, not everyone many can afford that, that of course of you know a uh, yeah. thousand pound a square meter for silk hand painted wallpaper wow yeah exactly but it's getting inspiration from these inspiration exactly high-end uh suppliers exactly. and then bringing it into normal people's price ranges exactly. by shopping around on you know the internet mm. or you building up your supply chain mm -hmm. in the uk and mm. Maybe there's someone watching this who would like to introduce them to you. Mm. So, you know, you want to build up your pipeline of suppliers for you know, everything. I need people for that. Like, exactly. I really need people here as in my team because that's my, exactly. yeah. And that's why you've, you know, I was very impressed when you walked into my office and you pitched mm. yourself to me. Mm. I wanted to give you a chance to, to, to you know, come on board of new yeah. and have that support by my team. Then you can, can you can grow your own supply chain exactly. with the backing what we can show you and help you, exactly. which will open up the doors. Yeah, um, that's very very kind of you. I mean, I really appreciate that because um, nobody knows me and no. I'm not familiar with places here no. much. I'm not familiar so, with places here. Much. It's all about the energy. Yeah, it's so, all about being. Yeah. Up, being it's all about the energy. It's all about being yourself. Being yeah. confident. Yeah. Sell yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Confident, you know, yeah. you walk into these people's offices, you know, you, you, you project hit on the table your yeah. new they project business card. No yeah. uh, they don't know, they, they have no idea uh, where yeah. you're going to pass or track record. Where I you're met a couple of people at. and they want to yeah. come into office and they want to see us how we work. Yeah. And it's very good to, you know, work with like minded people. Exactly, yeah. and, that's, and that is what we and want. And everybody's here. creative and passionate about, you know, we. I feel the same energy in you, like, um, 
we we are entrepreneurs and we have to go Clever. high top. And that is the key to everything. Never okay. being satisfied with yeah. what you got. Yeah. Always wanting more and driving more. Because if if you're not if you're not growing, mm -hmm. you're 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 shrinking. You're you're going backwards. Exactly. And you know, uh, every day something new comes up and you like doctors need to study every day, we need to study as well. Exactly. And what what exactly. we want to do is we want to build your pipeline up. Yeah, about the softwares as well. Yeah. About the vendors, about the carpenters, joinery, everything. Yeah, so we want to build your supply chain up, chain up. We want to build your pipeline of projects up. So we've, mm -hmm. we, you've got a number of jobs we're working at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, and if there's anyone out there and they're looking for an interior designer, yeah. obviously give us a call. We can yeah. send you around there for a sort of a free mm -hmm. uh, consultation. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess we can cover all areas of West London. And I'm not at all expensive into a designer. <laughs> no, because what, what, we, what, we, what yeah. we've said before, yeah. we will charge per room. Yeah. So instead of having a grey area of yeah. an hourly rate, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're charged per room, a flat yeah. fee of, I think we said £1,700 per room. Yeah, that's fine. Fair and, and that's our design fee. Exactly. Um, so, and obviously every job's going to be different, but mm -hmm. whether, you know, it's a, it's a house in Fulham, Chelsea, Belgravia, Knightsbridge, it's going to be the same price for everyone. Okay. And, um, you know, obviously we can yeah. introduce our clients uh, to your supply mm. chain, my supply mm. chain. I will give all, all, all my contact details to you so you can offer your... And Nick, I want to add something. Like, yeah. uh, we are into residentials. We're also into guest houses, hotels. Perfect. And on high-end level, like, um, I've been working with Marriott Hotel. So, um, I have good experience with them and... We are into corporate sectors, Where offices. was the Marriott? Where was the Marriott? Islamabad. Yeah. So, so um, anyone I can out there, share pictures with you. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. anyone out there, yeah. hotels, you want to look at hotels, yeah. guest houses, commercial, yeah. uh, office space, yeah. um, anything like that. Anything like that, offices, commercial, residential, even a small boutique. Yeah. Even, even if it's a shop, even if it's a kid's room, play area, anything which is related to interior designing. I'm ready to help yeah. and we'll be delighted to work with exactly. anyone who's interested in working with us. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure talking mm. to you and um, we all welcome you on board. Thank you. And so I think the future is going to be amazing. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. No, it will be. I know it's going to be. Yeah. And uh, just keep going, never give up. Mm. And um, let's do it.